Hi guys, Alex here. Welcome back to Girl Talk. I've got a little bit of mess and a little bit of drama today for you guys. First, we're going to go over some of the recent community tab posts from Foodie Beauty. They were filled with tons of drama and she is coming for Shannon and French Fried Girl. We're going to talk about the VIB awards and why they are never going to happen. We're also going to talk about the possibility of Chantal becoming a reaction channel, which is also never going to happen. And then we're going to go ahead and do a mini reaction to her time, her live stream that she did while she was in the parking lot. And then we're going to actually talk about the video that she did back home at the luxury villa. Just a short discussion. I literally have to shovel some snow when I'm done with this video, so it's not going to be fun. But I promise you guys, this video will be tons of fun. All that and more coming up on today's edition of Girls Hawk. Let's just get right into it. I mean, shall we? All right, you guys. So I thought we would go ahead and start here taking a look at Foodie Beauty's community tab post. If you haven't been following, Foodie Beauty has actually been sick recently. So the only updates we have been getting from her is on her community tab posts, aside from the recent live streams that we're going to be getting into later in the video. Let's take a look at some of the posts from just one day ago. Okay, what should the menu for the awards be? And I need an outfit as the master of ceremonies. So Foodie Beauty has been teasing this VIB awards. And I have seen a lot of people saying that this is against TOS, that it is against sweepstakes guidelines. I don't know. Is it really that serious? I just want to see a shit show. And then we got a picture from Chantal. This is some fan mail. Oh, thanks for the fan art. I feel like this fan art was kind of making fun of her because it says loves natter in the corner. Girl, if I was you, I wouldn't even post that. That's kind of embarrassing. And hair fibers. <laughs> it's funny because like the VIBs make fun of her as well, but she's okay when they do it. She's just not okay when we do it. So as long as you pay her $4.99 a month, you are allowed to throw subtle shade, but don't be too nasty or else you're gone. This is her most recent community tab post where she calls out FFG and Shannon. Shannon being her ex best friend in real life and FFG being a reaction channel. I'm going to start doing reactions to call out the bullshit and lies of some of these channels. Shannon, you want to lie somewhere and tell people how I was mean to my sister when younger? How about you tell them, St. Shannon, how you abuse your mom and call her a c and yell at her every day? Holy crap, that was really nasty. Wasn't it just about a week ago that she was saying on her community tab that she misses Shannon? She really did flip the script. In my opinion, she was probably drunk when she said that she missed Shannon because why else would she make that kind of community tab post? This is how Foodie Beauty really feels sober. Or how you made her call Subway and put a ham sub on credit but they wouldn't, so you called her a bitch. When it comes to this whole ham sub debacle, Shannon actually clarified what actually happened on Twitter, saying the following. And just to clarify the whole ham sub story, it wasn't from Subway. It was from school. We were poor. We had no food. I was starving. And that's it. That's all. So you're telling me that she was in high school or middle school or something and called up her mom to put the ham sub on credit. That really is an entirely different situation from what Foodie Beauty wanted us to think it was. It seems like these are problems that Shannon had when she was a teenager. Some of us haven't had the best childhood. I mean, Chantal even admitted that she was a nightmare when she was younger. So really, what's the point or the real truth about the graduation party? Hmm. Two can play and you aren't ready. <laughs> she really thinks she did something there, doesn't she? But she has the worst comebacks, especially when she gets on and tries to defend herself during the live streams. I would love to be a fly on the wall at that graduation party. Foodie Beauty has recently thrown Shannon under the bus when it comes to that party, saying that she brought the cola and they did cola together at Shannon's daughter's graduation party. But now Foodie Beauty is saying that she is going to expose the real truth. At first, it wasn't the dunk that Foodie Beauty thought it was because she's the one that brought the substances. So what were people to expect? But allegedly, she has some more tea about it. Just go ahead and spill it. 
I hate these games when people are like, oh, I have some dirt on you, but I'm not gonna just spill it and get it over with. Isn't this called like blackmail or something? You too, FFG. You are so proud of your 3K audience. Well, here is a bit of humble pie for you since you like to bake it and dish it out. Bake it and dish it out. People say that. For some reason, just two days ago, Foodie Beauty actually went over to FFG's live and wished her a happy new year. For some reason, I don't understand it. But I guess Foodie Beauty was spending her time in bed watching reaction channels and that's why she got all riled up. <laughs> the connection you have with your 3k audience is a mutual hatred for me. Your entire channel is obsessively about me. You get the pattern or does the Motel 6 you live in and have nerve to call anyone's place a trap have a lead paint problem. But I see they have erected a festive Christmas tree for your hateful content. How nice. Why is she pressed over a Christmas tree? This is why you have 16k subs and more views because no one gives shit about you as a person, only what hate and lies you have to spew about me. So I've been silent long enough. Time to get my side pony on and Marge cackle and get to exposing your lies. Oh, and by the way, there are currently no interprovincial border restrictions. So shut your rubber band mouth, you hypocritical moron. What's a rubber band mouth? So actually before this community tab post, Chantal put out a separate community tab post that was very, very similar to this one. But in that community tab post, she actually promised that she was gonna come on dressed like reaction channels and react to our videos. So to be honest, I think that she didn't wanna make that promise because that would actually take some work for her to dress up as some reaction channels. I would like to see her react to some videos, you know? Let her tell her side of the story. Of course, we are always open to hearing what she has to say. I'm not gonna say that I'm gonna believe everything that she has to say, but that's the beauty of YouTube. She has every right to respond, every right to react if she wants to, and I welcome it, but I just don't think that it's going to happen because everything else that she has promised never came to fruition, so what's the chance? that this is going to happen. Very slim chances, but I would like to see it. Do you guys remember just a couple of years ago, Amberlynn reacted to Zachary Michael. It was such an iconic moment in Amberlynn history. I would even go as far as to say that was kind of the peak of Amberlynn's career here on YouTube. And if Foodie Beauty wants to make some quick coin and get some people talking, stir the pot, I think she should go ahead and react. Hey, why not? Wouldn't be the first time she copied Amberlynn Reed. All right, you guys, so now it is time to talk about the hospital parking lot rage stream. So Foodie Beauty actually went live yesterday night from what I assume is the hospital parking garage, but you just never know with Foodie Beauty. She could be anywhere, right? But she wants us to believe that she's at the hospital, so I'm going to take her word for it, okay? During the video, she talks about how she wasn't able to get a test, so she doesn't really know if she has it or not. She took a test, but she did not take a rapid test, so it's going to take her quite a while before she gets the results. She probably has them right now. Let's go ahead and do a mini react to her rage. All right, you guys, so this right here is the video entitled Quick Live, where she is actually live from the hospital parking garage. Only Foodie Beauty would go live from the hospital parking garage, but she starts off the video by actually blocking a VIB named Dandy who is being accused of writing some racially charged comments. To be honest, I don't pay attention to her side chat like that, so I've never seen this person or what they have written. But if it's so bad that Chantal is blocking you for it, it's got to be pretty bad. So yeah, I don't want anything to do with them. <laughs> <coughs> I can't. I have to try not. I'm in my car. I have to try not to cough because I'll shit my pants. <laughs> <gasps> Oh my goodness. <coughs> no, I don't want sympathy. I just miss you guys. Girl, you came on here for sympathy. Ass pats and super jads. Don't get it twisted. And um, I know your game. So my breathing is like worse today. So I just want to make sure like given all the problems. No, I don't even think that's what it was. She is addicted to these live streams. That's what it was. She needs the attention to get by. And I can't find a... I ordered... Uber Eats ordered from the pharmacy, tried to, um, an oxygen pulse thing, oxygen monitor thing. Oh. And oh, okay. <laughs> oh, she ordered an oxygen monitor. I thought she was going to say she ordered some food. I forget they have Postmates <clears throat> on there now. Um, I might have to talk slow. 
They're all sold out. Like, I couldn't find one. Like, the pharmacy that I had to order from, I can't just go into any pharmacy. I can't go into public, right? So... You can't find anything. The way that she describes the situation in Canada right now, it seems really bad. Like, at least way worse than where I am. And, actually, like, if you check the, the news, they're just uh, saying, like, for, there's a shortage of testing. Like, they, it's, like, really bad. Um... <sighs> That is what I have heard. Shut the fuck up. That's my... I'm gonna... Sh she's gonna shut the fuck up soon. Don't you worry about it. Don't you... Is that a threat? Don't worry about it. It's long overdue. Don't you worry it's about it. Overdue. You know what? These people... That sounds like a threat. People have big mouths or big rubber band mouth, but they're stupid. They're not smart. Shannon is definitely not smart. She's got a big mouth, like trashy mouth, but she's not smart. Like, you're gonna what go... about yourself? You don't have a big trashy mouth? ...to my past and say that I was m mean to my sister as a fucking teenager when you 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 not remember how you were with your mom like the first time i met her knock knock is shannon home can you get my friend some cigarettes no shannon i can't fuck you, you i swear to god ask any she keeps bringing up shannon's past as a way to insult her but she's talking about her past from 20 years ago not her past from last year okay so she was a troubled teenager how is that relevant to today it's not I may not agree with things you do, but I don't wish COVID on anyone and pray that you get better soon. Lots of rest. Thank you, Emily. That's like, funny. what's she talking about? I haven't seen anybody wishing COVID on her. Her videos are like, I'm done. Oh, yeah, you're done. You think about me every day because you made a reaction channel about me. I don't know what people don't understand about me not wanting to be friends again or being mad about, about her. Maybe we don't understand because just a week ago you said that you were missing her. That's what sparked up this new conversation. We understand why you don't like her. She's talking shit about you on a reaction channel. Of course you're not going to love her. First of all, outing <laughs> personal shit. Number two, then not only that, going and making a fucking reaction channel. She outed your boyfriend for being a disrespectful piece of shit. These lowlifes are going to get what they have come into them. I don't think anybody doesn't understand that. They just don't understand the flip-flopping. And that's all I can say. <laughs> you made, you pissed me off. Yeah, you did. And that's it. He's I don't know. Now, I have to focus on not crapping <laughs> Girl, myself. you ain't gonna do shit. How many times have you said this? So, what gonna what's going to happen is, um, I don't know. They'll probably test for that. Can't get a test. Like, they're all out of rapid testing. Or you can't, it's so stupid. To go to a pharmacy and get it, you can't have any symptoms. So in which case, uh, if you don't have symptoms, what you're just going to go, oh, I think I have COVID. Give her chicken lips a taste. Oh, I will. I, I will, Lambo. And you know what? I'm not, a I'm not going to be a mean bitch like them, but this is a reaction. Like people say, why are you so nasty? Uh, why do I have to be, I'm sick of being nice to these people anymore. Like seriously. It seemed like for a second there, she was trying to play nice. Like she sent FFG a super chat. Did she really think that that would go over well? Well, it didn't. So now we're back at this bitching at reaction channels. All right, you guys, in the next part of the video, she actually discusses the shopping live. People were upset with Foodie Beauty because she had symptoms and continued to go out and shop at Pennington's. I haven't been sick like this in forever. I don't know. So... Yes, let's talk about quickly about the fucking shopping bees. I definitely, definitely. People are definitely, definitely upset. This has taught me to be way more careful in the future, but to be fair. I <laughs> this taught you to be more careful in the future. There might not be another time. You've been told this how many times over the past year? And FFG fucking full of fucking lies coming out of her rubber band bullshit shithole. Nice Christmas tree. Well, who cares about her lies? We saw what we saw. You do. And people are still upset with that even before she commented on it. In the Motel 6, by the way. But the lead paint isn't helping you. You're going to need to move out to come up with some good arguments when I'm done with you. Raking you through the coals. Just you fucking wait. <laughs> that, was, that was supposed to be her addressing the shopping vlog. At the end of the day, it doesn't really matter what FFG says. I feel like she always brings up these reaction channels as sort of a shield or a deflection from her own stuff because us as the viewer can sit down and watch what she's doing and the proof is in that pudding. People are upset with her because of her actions, not just because of what FFG can rile up, right? After the live from the parking lot, Foodie Beauty did a late night bees, that's the name of this live stream, where she was at the luxury villa. We're going to go ahead and gloss over this one a little bit, but I wanted to make a few points. People are upset because... 
She really has no respect for anybody. So instead of staying in her room, she has taken over the entire apartment and Pete's is the one that has to isolate in his room. Is that a hospital bracelet in your pocket or are you just happy to see me? <clears throat> and as far as the results of her test go, she doesn't have it yet. Also, there is apparently this woman named Shay that is threatening her other VIBs. This is one VIB threatening other VIBs. Here's what Chantal has to say about it. Julia, I'm not getting involved in all of this drama with this discord and people wanting, you guys want to shoot each other. I don't know what your deal is. I'm not, you know. I it's your VIVs. It's your fans. You have a responsibility to shut this shit down or at least disavow it. All right, you guys, it's our favorite time of the day. And that is, of course, comment of the day. Today's comment comes in from yesterday's video, which was actually a reaction to Amberlynn's latest mukbang. Yes. This comment comes in from Jackie Howard, who says, Alex, I agree with you about Amberlynn bringing back the nostalgia factor. That salmon looked overly dry and overly seasoned. Yeah, totally. There was something about that mukbang that definitely reminded me of the olden days or as I like to call them, the golden days. I was watching that reaction back and it just reminded me of my older videos. It was very nostalgic and fun. So go check that one out, guys. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I have been doing a lot more editing on my reactions. So I actually edit Amberlynn's video and I edit my own reaction. I feel like it's made all the difference. Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. What do you think about Chantal and this entire mess with Shannon and FFG? Let me know in the comments down below. I will, of course, catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.